ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਅ ਵੈਰੀ ਵਾਰਮ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਟੂ ਐਂਟਾਇਰ ਸੰਗਤ ਇਨ ਟੂਡੇਸ ਟਾਕ ਵੀ ਆਲ ਹੈਵ ਸੋ ਮੈਨੀ ਵਰੀਜ਼ ਇਨ ਆਵਰ ਲਾਈਫ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਹੈਪਨਸ ਇਨ ਆਵਰ ਲਾਈਫ ਐਂਡ ਵੀ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਥਿੰਕਿੰਗ ਵੀ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਅਜ਼ਿਊਮਿੰਗ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਅ ਲੋਟ ਆਫ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਸਮਟਾਈਮਸ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਵਰੀਡ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਮਨੀ ਵੈਲਥ ਸਮਟਾਈਮਸ we are worried about our health so different kind of problems different kind of stress and different kind of worries exist in our life so in the light of qurbani we'll try to understand different aspects of worries of chinta of our troubles and problems today we will talk about the definition of worry what is the meaning of worry what is the meaning of chinta according to qurbani and why do we worry why it has become the part of our life and then there are two types of worries which are here which we can see in the world and how can we overcome from this worries that also will try to understand so while understanding about these things will come across from chinta chintan and chintaman by the end of today's lecture we'll able to understand the difference between this chinta chintan and chin chintaman and what we need to do chintan and how it will help us so first thing we need to understand about worries whenever we are spending our time wherever we are sitting whatever we are doing most of the time some thoughts are going in our mind something is going in our mind most probably every time these all thoughts we can divide into two parts one is memories which is completely dedicated to past we are just thinking about what has happened in my life so whenever we are thinking about memories about past this is memories and past are the one thing sometimes we are thinking about future this is called worries so all our thoughts we can divide into two parts one is about memories thinking about past other is we are thinking about our future what will happen what will happen in my life what will happen to my family so whenever we are thinking about future these all thoughts comes under worries so this is how basically we can divide into two different parts meaning of worries according to pai kan singh naba in his book mahan kosh he mentioned few meanings of worries chinta fikr soch gam khyal dhyan which means like tension stress and lead to anxiety and sometimes the meaning of worries is dhyan which means concentration what i am thinking about where i am concentrated that is also a meaning of this chinta if we see the atmosphere in this world guru nanak sahib in the rag ramkali mentions चिंतत ही दिसै सब कोए चेत है एक तही सुख होए गुरु नानक साहिब हि सिंग वेरएवर आई एम सीइंग एज अनदर पंक्ति वी ऑल रिमेंबर नानक दुखिया सब संसार दिस इज ऑलमोस्ट सिमिलर काइंड ऑफ पंक्ति हियर गुरु नानक साहिब की इज टेलिंग अस चिंतत ही दिसै सब कोए सब मींस एवरीवन ऑल sab ko everyone chintat means worried every person is worried about something and 
what happens mostly if we don't have one thing we are so much concentrated about that thing if we don't have wealth for example so we think once i'll able to get more wealth then no more worries in my life i'll be stress free or if someone is uh, if someone don't have a child maybe he's worried about to getting a child if someone is sick he is worried about to get some health so different kind of worries maybe someone is worried about food wealth health family and most important maybe someone is worried about death how can i overcome will it really happen to me as well so most of the problems we think which are related to finance which are related to wealth but guru arjan sahib ji clear our delusion in that way as well it doesn't mean if you are able to get some wealth which means no more worries in our life guru arjan sahib ji is telling us bade bade jo di sah lok if you are thinking they are ahead of us maybe in politics maybe in finance maybe in position maybe in wealth anything we are thinking that person could be happy or maybe that person is not really worried about anything now he have attained everything so guru arjan sahib is telling us bade bade jo de sah log whoever seems great and powerful to you tin ko vyapa chinta rog chinta tension is known as an disease anxiety is known as an disease in the light of qurbani because so many problems arises just from this disease chinta if you are thinking a lot i was just reading yesterday only some people fall into the trap of delusion disorder the people those who are thinking a lot every time they are just thinking about so many things they are so much worried all the time they don't smile so then they face a problem which is like called as an delusion and the based of delusion disorder which means they just imagine a story and they think it happened actually sometimes they start hearing some sounds so this kind of problems arises into their life scientifically as well doctors are working on it as well and gurbani guru arjan sahib ji told us long time before Five centuries before, so tin ko bia pe chinta ro. Everyone is worried. Atmosphere of this world right now is everyone is worried. Doesn't matter he is rich or poor. Doesn't matter he is on good position or he is on a lower position. Position doesn't matter. Gender doesn't matter. Sab koi. Everyone is worried. Tensions could be different. Maybe someone is worried about. how to get some wealth and another is worried about how to save income tax or how to save my money from thief how to save my money from scams a lot of maybe someone is worried about health someone is worried about family different but everyone have some problems some troubles in their life but that they are worried about this kind of atmosphere is there now why do we worry on in the first slide we understood everyone is worried worries of future in future if something bad happens to me maybe right now i am happy i am living a happy life i have everything but still we get some worried what will happen in the future will i be having all those things together with me will my family stay with me 
my wealth, my health, what will happen? What if I can't handle it? So worries are related to future and worries are related to our wishes. As someone mentioned, worries just like a rocking chair. It gives you something to do, but it never gets you anywhere. You're still there. So we're thinking a lot again and again. We're thinking, we are worried about future. Two things. One is whatever I want, will that happen or not? Another, will it happen opposite to that? So that is why we are worried. We are worried about two things. As I want my future, will it be like that or not? Or one thing I don't want that kind of things in my life. Will those come to my life? Will it happen according to my wishes or against? So we are worried about future. But we are just thinking, if we are just worried, it will not help us actually. We are just sitting there, just sitting on a chair and just thinking, we have something to do. We are just thinking, yes, I'm working on it, but actually maybe it doesn't help. And these worries also we can define, we can divide into two different parts. One is called as practical worries. One is called as hypothetical worries. One is practical worries, another is hypothetical worries. Now, what is the difference between? Okay. Let's try to understand with the story of Leo Tolstoy. So then we'll talk more about these two worries for that clear picture we will be having about it. Leo Tolstoy is one of the famous writers of Russia. He wrote a lot of things lot of books, novels, and one of the greatest writer as well. So Leo Tolstoy wrote a story. He said, once upon a time, let's just take it as a story because it's actually, if you think about it in a practical way, maybe a lot of things we cannot assume really, but it's just a story. So take it as a story actually. So he mentioned God of heaven, he sent one angel on the earth to take a life of a beggar. And that beggar had three children. Three young, very young girls, just two, three years old, a daughter. Another was just one and a half. And third was just few days old. When that angel came on the earth, he was supposed to take life of that beggar and he got worried. He thought, if I take a life of this poor beggar, what will happen to these three girls? How will they survive in this world? They are too small, too young. One, even two of them can't even walk, cannot stand on their feet, cannot eat anything. So that angel got worried about that packer. He did not take life of this packer and went back to heaven. Then that king or the god of that heaven part, he asked that angel, why didn't you take her life? And he said, I got worried about the future of these daughters. So I did not take life. I thought, let's give some more time. After a couple of years, we can take life. At least they're able to walk. Then he smiled, king of the heaven, and punished that angel. He said, now you need to go to the earth until unless you will not laugh on your mistake three times, you won't able to come back to heaven. He gave him a human body and fall him on the earth. He was sitting without clothes. One cobbler, a mochi, those who used to prepare shoes or sandals or chapels, he was 
going from the same path to market to brought some clothes for her child for his child then he saw this a poor man without clothes so he brought clothes for him the moment he brought that person this angel to his house that cobbler's wife screamed over him she said you lost money this is the first time when angel smiled because he knew now angel angel in her house now they will bring fortune they'll bring more and more wealth and health and everything but she could not able to see that thing she was just able to see what she has just lost it but she cannot see what is going to happen the same happens in our life we are so much worried about what happened right now but we are not aware about consequences where it will bring to sometimes blessing in the disguise but god can see it we cannot so this is what happened the first time he smiled again second time king of the tiria gave asked them to prepare a shoes and told don't prepare sandals we want shoes but that angel prepared sandals then that cobbler beat him a lot after getting beaten up and after some time that soldiers of that king came to that place and said if you did not prepare anything we don't want shoes anymore we are looking for sandals that angel could able to see what they were looking for but that poor person was not then he apologized for beating that angel angel said don't worry i'm getting punishment for my mistake the second time he smiled because then he realized maybe that was the scene with him at that time he couldn't able to see the future but he was so much worried about things third time he saw a three young beautiful girls came to came to that angel because they became so famous so much wealth and everything was there they were the most famous people in on their of their field then that poor lady one old lady and with three daughters then he recognized because these were the same these were those three girls he asked what happened to your life how did you became so rich then that old lady smiled and said next to my bungalow one beggar used to live she died and these were three girls there three of her daughters and i did not have any child so after her death i brought all these daughters to my house and i took care and now they are they belongs to my property wealth and everything then third time that angel smiled this is what happens in our lives we don't know what are the consequences we just get worried we don't know god's plan we just know our plan so what are the two kinds of worries one is practical worry one is hypothetical worries so practical worried where we can do something if i'm worried about my son's future but i can do i can take care of study of education of wealth and for fitness and health so practical worried where i can do something hypothetical worries where i cannot do something i can't change i can't do i know even i am thinking about it i won't able to change it for example if you are thinking i should not get ill ever in my life i should not die it is going to happen some things we cannot change so practical worries where we can change something 
hypothetical we cannot change anything but still we are wasting our time and thinking about it and the more we think the more we get pain as if you are just holding a glass of water for a few seconds maybe it's so light but if we need to hold that glass of water for an hour or for two hours it will be so heavy and heavier the same happens in our life we must remember if some trouble is there some problem is there ye waqt guzar jayega this time will pass if we are so much worried so much problems in our life which means it's a dark night and if it's so dark it means now sun is about to rise so we cannot see the future but even if we are worried we must remember just four beautiful words ye waqt guzar jayega this time will pass as my good time has passed now difficult time will also pass but i'm just if i'm just thinking about it so much worried about it and then which means we are holding more and more pain it happens in the life of guru angad sahib ji as well there was a sikh his name was pai jiva he used to bring khichdi for guru angad sahib ji every day one day he was about to leave his house then it was heavily raining outside he got worried i won't able to bring food for guru angad sahib ji he started praying rain must stop now rain must stop today he started praying a lot about it and rain stopped he went to second guru put khichdi next to guru ji but guru ji did not take it guru ji did not eat this time pai jiva folded his hand and asked guru ji what happened then guru ji said why did you pray why were you praying to stop the rain pai jiva smiled and said because i was worried about your food then guru ji said in this heavy rain and storm could bring so much food and water for animals for insects and spiders now i am worried about them how will they get it so we don't know the consequences we don't know what is about to come so the more we are thinking which means we are getting more and more pain so then we must remember nothing is permanent in this world not even our troubles we are not permanent actually and our troubles are not permanent as well nothing is permanent so don't worry what should we do kabir ji is telling us so first point was just we were discussed about how we are worried now how can we overcome kabir जो मैं चितवाओ ना करे क्या मेरे चितवे होए कबीर जी सिंह जो मैं चितवाओ वट एवर आई वॉन्ट दैट इज वाई वी आर वरिड बिकॉज आई वॉन्ट समथिंग शुड हैपन इन फ्यूचर जो मैं चितवाओ ना करे वट एवर आई वॉन्ट दैट विल नॉट हैपन क्या मेरे चितवे होए वट कैन हैपन विद माई थिंकिंग because we are thinking so many bad things about so many people if everything will start happening it will be mess around apna chitt vya har kare god will do whatever he want to do jo mere chitt na hoye he will do whatever even i never imagined of we never thought about it if we just think about our life not about the history not about guruji's life if we just think about our life 
then so many things happen in our life or has already happened that we never thought of so many things like we never imagined we never thought we never planned for it but it happened even if i take just my example i never thought about to came to singapore like it was never in my mind even per se but yes i'm here so apna chit vyahar kare wherever god wants us to bring god will bring god will do whatever he want to do and even in our life so many things happens so many good things happens that we never imagined we never prayed we never asked we never thought of so apna chit vyahar kare jo mere chit na hoye so whatever he want he will do so kabir ji is saying why should i worry about if i am just getting worried and that is not going to happen then why should i waste my time don't worry chinta taaki kijiye jo anhoni hoye so nothing happens unexpected everything happens or everything happen that has to happen everything happens by his will na kar chint chinta hai karte so give your worries to wahi guru ji why you are getting worried na kar chint guru ji is telling us don't worry chinta hai someone is worried for you why you are getting worried for you who is worried for me guru ji then guru ji telling us chinta hai karte karte means creator the one who has created you he is worried about it he will do you just don't worry about anything har deva jal thal janta sab the he is giving everything to everyone he has created this entire universe this world this creation on earth in the water who is taking care of them are we doing something not really unlimited animals so many lives in the water on the earth in the air who is taking care of them so if he is taking care of them definitely he is taking care of you as well so na kar chint don't worry a lot chinta hai karte god have worries he will take care of everything har deva jal thal janta sab the he is giving everything to everyone you just don't think about it a lot so don't worry just be happy so what i supposed to do what should i do satgur ayo sharan tuhari mile sukh naam har soba chinta lahe hamare this will happen if we come into the sangat then only we'll realize we'll able to see nothing will happen whatever i think as kabir ji mentioned ke mere chitve hoy if we are thinking that is not going to happen everything happen by the will of god so that we can realize if we can surrender ourselves and one more thing we need to think we need to be conscious we discussed about two worries practical and hypothetical which means we must work we must take worry like in the way what should i do but not worried about the fruit what will happen i must do good things i must do whatever i supposed to do i must a worry in a positive way like don't do any bad things it will harm me so even after doing something good if something bad happens to me so we should accept it as well so these kind of humbleness and values and virtues will arise within ourselves in the sangat satgur ayo sharan tuhari i am coming into the sangat congregation mile sukh naam har sobha 
what is sukh what is happiness what is tension free life his name because then we just came to know that he is the one who is taking care of everything chinta hai karte and pai gurudas is also mentioned about it chinta man chitvat chinta man the meaning of chinta man is god vahekur chitvat means reciting remembering chinta means worry chit means heart so all those words and five words actually just start from with the same word chinta man chitvat chinta chit te churai churai means theft so chit te churai so now ajoni arade jon sankat katai so this is possible chinta man chitvat so chinta is like a chita so what we need to do chinta man chitvat recite if you are just thinking there are some thoughts so just bring some good thoughts of chinta man of the lord then what will happen chinta chit te churai then no more worries in our heart no more worries in our mind because then we came to know then we realize that he is the one who will take care of everything and nothing will happen nothing will change just by my thinking he will do whatever is he want to do whatever is good for everyone not according to me but everything will happen according to his will so god will not follow our orders or our will we need to surrender and accept it he has created everything he will take he is taking care of everything so nothing changes in our life god take care of everything mila sukh naam har shobha chinta lahe hamari guru arjan sahib ji in the rag todi is telling us many times this shabad may be we have heard in the hukam as well sat gurayo sharan tuhari mila sukh naam har soba chinta lahe hamare so this is a message if we are into the congregation of guruji in the sad sankat then we realize the value of name the power of lord and then we can just think like worried all kind of worries has given to god so we must worried about good things like अंत काल नारायण सिमर ऐसी चिंता मैं जे मर बदत त्रिलोचन ते नर मुक्ता विता पितंबर वाके हृदय बस है अंत काल नारायण सिमर ऐसी चिंता मैं जे मर तो चिंता कुड बी इन द पॉजिटिव वे सो हियर द मीनिंग ऑफ चिंता इज कंसंट्रेशन सो व्हाट एवर थिंग्स वर इन आवर माइंड इन आवर थॉट्स आवर एंटायर लाइफ दैट विल कम इनटू आवर माइंड बाय द end of our life whatever we have done in the life the same thoughts will arise in our mind by whenever we would be about about to leave this world to ant kal narayan simre aisi chinta mein je mara if you want to take this worry in the positive not then ant kal narayan simre so just worried about naam am i able to earn naam am i able to do satsang am i able to do good things in my life गॉड maybe it doesn't like emptiness he always filled things with so many things if we are without worry if we are empty within ourselves no more worries then we will be filled with a lot of joy with lot of happiness with the god himself as even if we try if we go to an ocean or a river and if it took some water out of it 
then we cannot see hole there right the water around filled that empty part instantly quickly maybe then earlier the water is just too slow but the moment we took some water then we cannot see hole it's not empty the water around fills it so quickly the moment we are without worries doesn't mean we are empty we will be filled with the joy we will filled with the goldiness with the values and virtues god himself arises jyoti jyotrali this is what bhagat lochan ji mentioned antakal narayan simra achi chinta mein jay mara if you want to get worried worried about values worried about virtues then bajitar lochan tenar mukta pitambar vake hriday basa which means hriday means heart then the lord comes or the values of lord virtues of lord arises within our heart which is also possible so this is a way how we can live our life so now we are so much worried we need to do chintan we need to recite the name of chintaman of god then this is the way because we are thinking for sure about something so rather than thinking about hypothetical things think about some positive things where we can work actually so the best positive thing best we can do a best thought we can have is when we are thinking about virtues so chinta is possible with the chintan we need to divert our mind from one thing to another then only chinta mind will arise our in our heart so today we discussed about atmosphere is everyone is worried but even someone is rich or poor everyone is worried so now we just need to think uh, we should be worried as we can see those pictures on the screen one child is so worried and one is smiling so how should we live our life i we really want to live our life in tensions and worries and it will just impact on our health nothing else is going to happen with so many thoughts so don't worry nothing is permanent whatever whenever we are facing some difficult time so we must remember nothing is permanent and or another way we can remember the sakhis of guru ji what has happened in their life definitely we haven't gone through all those things yes even if something happens if someone goes from the family then we can just remember guru gobind singh ji lost his father mother four of his sons still he was smiling so why we repeat history again and again it gives us more and more motivation and power so they did it practically so don't worry nothing is permanent everything we are going to lose even our life so problem will go we will go everything will go who will remain forever satna that god all practical or hypothetical whenever we are having some thought in our mind just give another thought to our thought is it practical worried or hypothetical if i'm just thinking about this for an hour or half an hour can i do something about it or i'm just wasting my time is it a hypothetical or practical i can work on it and change something and we must remember god creator sustainer of the universe mastermind even mastermind is a small word so he is the one who created who is providing food and he is the destroyer as well he is taking care of everything and he is the only perfect everyone is imperfect we all commit some or make some mistakes if perfect is only lot so who has created us who has created everything is taking care of everything so what we must worried about good things if we need to worry if we need to give a thought so must think about good things when did i wake up what i am doing 
what are the values i am bringing in my life what kind of values i am giving to my child what kind of values i am giving to my family am i doing something good or bad am i living my life in the light of qurbani in the light of religion am i following the life path of gurmukh or a manmukh if you need to worried then worried about lot worried about values worried about वर्च्यूज वर्ड अबाउट गुड थिंग्स अंत काल नारायण सिमर ऐसी चिंता में अचे मर सो इवन इफ यू कैन बी वर्ड अबाउट गुड थिंग बट ट्राई टू जस्ट रिसाइड हिस्स नेम एंड सरेंडर अवर सेल्फ एंड दिस इज ओनली पॉसिबल इन द इन द संगत विद द हेल्प ऑफ संगत अ ड्रॉप कैन नॉट रीच टू द ऑशन ड्रॉप नीड्स कंपनी ऑफ अनादर ड्रॉप्स a drop of water if he gets company of more drops of water it may become like a river then definitely they can reach to the ocean it's possible but we need company we need good company we need sat sangat which will help us so first thing is rather than negative thoughts try to put it on the practical thoughts then the next stage is from the practical thoughts again we need to divide or keep thoughts of the values and virtues and the highest is don't think about anything just recite his name and whatever you do good or bad band band katya ja rahe hai ya kopdi lai ja rahi hai i am just happy to recite your name may wahi ruchi bless us all now i request you all so kindly share your words kindly share your inputs kindly share your point of views whatever feedbacks suggestions any thought whichever came to your mind as i always say it's not your thought thought is given to you bye bye guru ji so don't keep it with yourself kindly share it with all of us and it's never like wrong thought or right thought every thought is precious because every thought is given by bhai guru ji to you so kindly share it with all of us as we just mentioned we all must help each other then only we can reach we can walk on the path of almighty sangat helps the most sangat is important so now i request you the entire sangat and i am very thankful to you as well for sharing for giving your precious time and we were able to discuss some point of worries now i request you to the entire sangat over to you wahiguru ji ka khalsa wahiguru ji ke fateh ji han ji sangat han ji saath sangat ji guru pyare ho anyone or everyone can unmute themselves don't be shy please han ji karta ji you are unmuted वैगुरु जी का खालसा वैगुरु जी की फतेह मास्टर जी वैगुरु जी का खालसा वैगुरु जी की फतेह जी वेरी ब्यूटीफुल सब्जेक्ट आई लाइक द पार्ट वेयर एट द लास्ट वेयर यू से इट्स अ ड्रॉप ऑफ वाटर विल नॉट रीच द ओशन इट नीड्स मोर कंपनी बट वरी इज पार्ट ऑफ आवर लाइफ वी कैन नॉट लिव विदाउट इट इट इज इन बोर्न इन अस इजंट इट everybody worries even for small small things we all worry is something that we cannot let go no matter how much we say uh, it is not permanent it will pass on but we still do worry for little things for big things and sometimes like you said we worry unnecessarily things that have never happened but we worry about them and all these worries are just going to cause us headaches blood pressure stress and what happens we become sick because of all these worries but we instead of worrying why don't we just reflect on the problem that is making us worried and reach to the root of the problem and try to look for a solution but i think we are human you know we just don't want to find the root of it we are so happy just worrying about the problem exactly i mean that 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 i think is human nature that's why we are like that but as you said if we can accept that it is 
hukam, acceptance of the hukam that if God has given us this worry, he has also found a solution and it is up to us to look towards the solution or like they said, if you are in a room closed, you there is a door somewhere or a window open. We just have to look for it. Yeah. And meditation, I think, helps. It gives us a peace of mind, solace to the heart and keeps us calm enough to look for the solutions. I think that is very important, especially for me. When I'm very worried, I just read my mool mantra and that keeps me very calm. When I'm calm, then I start looking out as to how to settle my problems or how to get out of this stress. It gives you confidence when you read the Bani or when you jump the Nam then it gives you confidence to look for a solution. I mean, that that is me. And as for other things, I think problems will never stay long. They are there as an experience in your life. And it to remind you not to fall into the same trap or into the same problem. If we can start the day by being thankful for every little thing in our life, we will realize how blessed we are. We are alive. Let's live our life. And there will be problems forever. They are not, we can say they are only temporary, but no. Problems will always be with us. But we must learn to have faith in Y group and believe in him that if he has given us a problem, he has also given us a solution. Thank you very much, Master Ji. Thank you very much, Kartarji. Very beautifully, you contributed in today's talk. If there is a problem, there is a solution as well. So meditation, reciting his name helps a lot. So really appreciate. Thank you very much for your inputs, Kartarji. Thank you, Master Ji. Thank you, Ji. Anji, any other Sangat member, Ji, would like to share something, Ji? Please don't be shy. Anji Hardeep, Ji. As the Bani says, everyone is always worried about something other. It is our human nature to worry. No. Our thoughts always going towards maybe, you know, in the negative way rather than the positive way. But sometimes I'm thinking whether worry can be uh, can lead to some positiveness. For example, I don't know. I remember if the children are young and the exam is coming and we say, aren't you all studying? Aren't you all worried? Exam is coming. So prepare yourself. So that kind of uh, word we use, you know, aren't you worried that your exam is coming? So that might trigger them to do something positive. Other than that, to worry unnecessarily is definitely not a good thing. You don't know what is going to happen and you just go on worrying about it unnecessarily and getting sick. That's not a good thing. I don't know. If you took in the Bani, Jatu Mere Wal hai, ta kya mashallah? Yeah, it's really good. Ovi, Ovi, it's suitable. Hai. Bilkul ji, bilkul. Oh, without worry, bilkul. Bhot vadiya ji. Oh, tu mere wal na, ta minu kese di koi tension ne. I'm not worried. Because I know you are with me. Hanji. So I think at the end of the day, Bani tells us, uh, don't worry. And God will help us. He is near us. He is with us. And he will take us through. Thank you, Ji. Ji thank, you. Ka ka thank you very much, Ji, for giving one another Gurbani Pankti. For sharing with all of us, Jatu mere wala hai ta kya moha chanda, tu sab kish mehna soka hai, jat tera badda. You are with me, so I'm not worried. I know you will take care of me every time, so which is very good. And uh, yes, another thing that yeah, Hardeep ji mentioned, that it's an worried hona chahi da hai, or as uh, exams are coming for a child. Yeah, this is a practical worry as we discussed about practical and hypothetical. So this is practical where we can actually work on it, not just about thinking, not getting worried only, must take some action and it will really help. So really thank you very much for your contribution, Hadeep Ji. 
Hanji, any other single member ji who would like to contribute or would like to share something? Hanji Paj. Wahi Guru Ji ka khalsa. Wahi Guru Ji ka khalsa. I did not want to unmute because I was worried that I was going to do something wrong because you were doing the recording so my worries kept me from unmuting. Oh, right. That's a practical worry. <laughs> But suddenly I remembered a very beautiful Shabbat. It has got four steps to it and if we can understand the four steps I think all our worries will go, go away. It says Ta me aya Sharani aya Parose aya Kirpa aya Four things we need to have and all our anxieties our stress our tensions our worries will go away. Ta me aya First, we got to come and surrender to the feet of God and say, "Sagal dwar ko chhad ke gheho toharo dwar, bahen gheh ki lajyas go bin das tohar." Give me your arm, O oh Lord, because there is no one else I can turn to, and I have forsaken all other doors, and I've only dropped at your own feet. To me aya, duja sharni aya. To si pale shabat sunadita satgur ayo sharan tohari, tija parose aya. Now, I think this is where we got to pause for a moment and say maybe the reason. We have been hearing about the power of God, Naam, Simran, Kirtan. Asi Gurdwari, we janya. We listen to so many spiritual lectures, but we do not have parosa, and maybe that is where the lack of uh, having peace of mind comes in. So parosa may be the most important thing to have faith that I do not need to worry. Chimta karo hamari. God Himself will take care of me and all my worries. Jal thal megyal parpur lena kat kat jo tomari. Because in every heart, it's the the one light of the god that we all came from and our prayer should every day only be chimta karo hamari three words that can change our life at amrit vela if we wake up and pray in the embroisal hours before dawn that dawn, that oh god i don't want to worry i have got no knowledge i don't even know how to take care of myself you chimta karo hamari and then before we sleep and when we wake up i think that little shabad we used to teach children and maybe teach ourselves in smelen uthat sukhiya baithat sukhiya po nahi lage ja aise bujhiya vada i'm standing up whether i'm sitting down i've got no fears i've got no worries i've got no anxieties why because rakha ek hamara swami sagal kata ka antar jami that one lord is our protector he'll take care of us and soe achimta the most two beautiful words if you can't sleep even after kirtan swela tami neend nahi aari just repeat soe achimta jag achimta soe achimta jag achimta as we make that our mantra from today onwards we'll sleep beautifully without worry we'll wake up without worry because jahan kahan prabhu tu vartanta everywhere we look we will see god kar sukh vasya at home we will be in peace bahar sukh paya we will have peace but the most important condition is kah nanak gur mantar dadaya as we chant the mantra of vaheguru sat naam sri vaheguru or whatever mantra we have been given we will have all our worries go away and if we still have any doubts then for the next maybe 21 to 28 days to 40 days i was told in childhood go before you stand on that stage and you have speakers are uh, fright or you can't speak in front of public just remind yourself just the sahib dada hove this no mar na sake ko and no one can ever destroy you when you have your master because sahib ki sevak rahe shranai aap pe bakshe dev dai we will always be under the protection of god and he will give us that glorious greatness because this te upar nahi koi kaun dare dar ke kahoy so what is there to be afraid of there is no one else who is bigger uh, more powerful than lord god ourselves that we have been given so i just want to conclude by saying nothing to worry about and if we really really look at it our mothers and by the way evala mina mag majan sansadwa thuri karishnan ladies har roz sukhmani sahib da paath karan ja rahi hain gurudwara sahib my mom goes every day to the sukhmani sahib de assi samjh liye na pehli pankti keh rahi hai ashtpadi सिमरो सिमर सिमर सुख पावो कल कलेश तन माहे मिटाओ ऑल आवर एंग्विश ऑल आवर वरीज ऑल आवर चिंता विल गो अवे ऑल वी गॉट टू डू इज सिमरन सिमरन एंड जस्ट रिमेंबर मेडिटेट शाम द नेम ऑफ द लॉर्ड एंड इफ नथिंग हेल्प्स देन साइकोलॉजिस्ट हैव गिवन अस द एट स्टेप्स टू मेकिंग श्योर ऑफ गेटिंग रिड ऑफ वरीज इन वन वीक एंड आई थिंक सम ऑफ द पॉइंट्स हैव ऑलरेडी बीन कवर्ड इन टर्म्स ऑफ मेडिटेशन नंबर 2 डीप ब्रीथिंग विल हेल्प नंबर 3 
Practice self-compassion and love ourselves. Number four, scan our mind, body, and soul and throw away all the negativity. Number five, share our fears with the friends, family, and the sad single. Number six, let us practice gratitude. Number seven, let us start writing a journal with our emotion. And most important, number eight, let us have consistent sleep seven to nine hours and suddenly all tensions will disappear. I thank you for giving me this opportunity to share. Pul Chukdi Mafi. I was worried I may say something wrong. And if I do say something wrong every time, please forgive me. Thank you once again. Let us live a very free life. Don't worry. Be happy. Why good to be Khalsa? Why good to be happy? Thank you very much, Palji, for your lovely and very fruitful contribution for all of us. And uh, the truth is, pull learn under sabko a pull guru kartar we all make some mistakes a pull sirf parmatma hai to to se contribute karde ho bahut vadhiya lagda hai really appreciate thank you very much for your contribution pal ji thank you thank you ji yes and ran jit ji mentioned like most of us uh, worry because we lack confidence in ourselves or faith in god yes definitely because what happens if we are as we just uh, pal ji just mentioned jiska sahib dada hoye if we are sure like we know god is with me he'll take care of everything then definitely we'll get some confidence if a child is performing something and if he can see his father and just giving him thumbs up yes i'm with you child feels happy yes i know my father is behind me he'll take care of me so the same thing once we just not for seeing practically we'll able to feel it yes why guru is with me i can go into the any situation or anywhere god is with me so this kind of confidence we need this kind of faith we need in the god then definitely it will help and it will improve our life too so really thank you very much ranji ji ji any other questions feedbacks or contribution from any other sangat members if you want to share or add anything don't be shy please hanji okay so I request you all kindly unmute yourselves so that we all can say gur fate together so once again thank you very much for your contribution for your precious time let's all say wahi guru ji ka khalsa wahi guru ji ke fateh ji thank you everyone thank you fateh ji thank you ji have a good day ji thank you ji